Good evening. Fort Townsend School District Board members, uh, sorry, I'm trying to be smart. Superintendent Palm, Principal Earhart, Fort Townsend High School faculty and staff, family members, friends, and fellow graduates. At the beginning of the year, Mr. Dow told our class there are multiple components to the human brain, including a logical and an emotional component. So I asked my father about this, given that he has a PhD in neuroscience. After 30 minutes or so, I was confident I had made the correct decision not to major in neuroscience in college. <laughs> Whether or not there is a biological basis for either a logical or emotional brain is not critical. What matters is to understand that individuals have personal biases to interpret the world, and everything they do is subject to these biases. A few weeks ago, Principal Earhart informed me I would be given the opportunity to speak at graduation. So I immediately began to research speech topics, and my personal bias to find and accumulate data led me to learn the following. There are approximately 37,000 high schools graduating more than 3 million students this month. If on average, each student brought two family members and four, excuse me, four family members and two friends, along with faculty, 15 million people would be listening to five speeches tonight. Each, each speech will be approximately five minutes long and contain roughly 800 words. And typically, there will be two bad jokes per speech. Valedictorians will talk about a variety of topics, but most consistently, after thanking their parents, friends, teachers, principals, and support staff, they will settle in and rely on the most common speech element, the use of the well-developed cliché. Clichés, clichés, clichés. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Today is not the end of your education, but only the beginning. Follow your passion. Okay, you get it. Valedictorians seem to have a skill for reaching for the stars in search of well-refined, sophisticated speeches suitable for studying by future generations, but in reality, they'll use, they'll use cliches which are suitable for Hallmark. <laughs> but what is the alternative? Should I expand on the bleakness of the human condition? For after graduation, is it our destiny to end up on a personal island following the, following the Lore of the Flies book to see logic and reason destroyed by the wickedness and impulses of people around us? For me, and a few others, Lord of the Flies was a very difficult read, especially when Ralph's optimism and sense of right was defeated by the evilness of the self-indulgent Jack. Is this what we're supposed to learn about the world? As in dealing with dating, and acne, and driving lessons, and working at McDonald's isn't enough? Now you're telling us any sense of progress or accomplishment is going to get shattered by evil at first opportunity? Of course not. English would get better. There will be uplifting prose, inspirational rhetoric, calls to a greater good. It was to be in Shakespeare, of course, with his play, Hamlet. Are you familiar with Hamlet? Here's a quick synopsis. King dies. King's brother marries queen. Young prince vows revenge against his uncle. King's ghost appears to prince and reveals King was murdered by his brother. Prince pretends to be insane. King's brother laces the prince drink with poison, but the queen dies after she drinks from the cup instead. Prince kills his uncle in a sword fight, but he subsequently dies after, after being cut by his uncle's poison swordship during the fight. Huh? Are these the lessons of the life to be learned in high school? How am, I supposed to ch how am I supposed to stand here today and cheer on our efforts to graduate, only to know my classmates and I face a life filled with sorrow, deception, and tragedy? <laughs> as a finding, as a trying to find a summer job wasn't already challenging enough, no wonder the typical speech often turns into a cliche-riddled mess. The challenge inherent in such a speech is obvious. What injustice can a typical privileged high school senior speak, uh, speak to? What worldly insight can a senior provide? What topic would an 18-year-old senior be able to expand upon with deep insight and understanding? <laughs> exactly. Speaking for myself, I can't do that. <laughs> but here's what I can speak to in this age of my life, is small victories. Classmates working together to understand challenging literature. Classmates debating world problems during Mali United Nations. Classmates practicing together to perform during school musicals. Classmates bowing together are on athletic fields or doing mock trial or knowledge ball. Classmates standing together to protest the lack of climate change action. Classmates supporting each other in each of our endeavors. This is not Lord of the Flies. This is a series of small victories which have prepared us to take on the larger challenges that await. We have been con confronted with tasks and given objectives designed to enrich us, to build our confidence, to grow as individuals, and to achieve success. The values of Port Townsend, community, place, support, creativity, excellence, and diversity are reflected in the goals of the Port Townsend School District and implemented by the incredible teachers we have been fortunate to have over the years, dating all of the way back to elementary school. 
All of us have benefited from growing up in this extraordinary community which believes in these values and to being educated in a school system which challenges us without crushing us. Now, I'm currently over 800 words, so I should wrap up with one last quote from a children's literature book. <laughs> you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who will decide where to go. We've worked hard to make it to the stage tonight. Our emotions are naturally all over the place, excited, joyful, bittersweet, or even sad. But we should take pride in our efforts, be thankful of those who supported us, and remember that whatever the future holds for us, we will be forever linked by our time spent together here in Port Townsend. Congratulations to my fellow students, the Port Townsend High School class of 2019. Thank you. Yeah.